I don't know about nymphs biting your knees, but the only thing that bites my knees here in Florida is just mosquitoes. And man, is it bad. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is JP and uh, today we're listening to Happy the Man uh, with their song Knee Bitten Nymphs in Limbo. Very interesting title. This is off of their debut album uh, which is also entitled Happy the Man which was released in 1977. A few of you guys have been recommending uh, not only this band but this song specifically to me for a long time so happy to finally bring it to you. I've never heard of Happy the Man before you guys had recommended them, and I've definitely never heard of this song. <laughs> and then I also pulled up the Wikipedia page for the band themselves, and I haven't read anything really about them past the first sentence, uh, or second sentence rather, but the name Happy the Man is a reference to Faust, Goeth's Faust, and the Bible rather than the actual Genesis single, because I thought that they were named after the single from Genesis, Happy the Man, which we also listened to. Anyways, hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. You can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. Uh, let's get into it. This is Happy the Man with Knee Bitten Nymphs in Limbo. What an interesting title. <laughs>
let me let me put it like this. It's 1228 p.m. right now, a little afternoon, and I feel like it's too early for me to listen to this right now. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't ready for this. I, I was trying to ease myself into recording this session, and this was this was too proggy for me. <laughs> this was too bouncy for me, and I'm not ready yet. So my comments may be altered just because of my current state, which is I feel like I'm still waking up. I've been awake for a while now, but I feel like I'm still waking up. It reminded me of Gentle Giants a little bit. I like the keyboard playing and the organ playing. That's my favorite thing and to me the absolute standout on this track. That is phenomenal. I see that there's two people involved in the keyboards and, and organs and pianos. Um, Frank Wyatt and Kit Watkins. I'm not sure exactly who's doing what on this one. Maybe they're both involved in the soloing and everything, but I feel that regardless that's what stood out really, really nicely in this song, is the organ playing, the keyboard playing. That was just, that was fun. You know, that was really fun to listen to. And the rhythm section too is really fun. I mean, it definitely <laughs> sounds like they're having a blast up there. I'm just not ready for it right now. <laughs> I feel like I needed a cup of coffee before I jumped into this. Maybe I got my cup of coffee listening to it right now. It almost has like a jazz fusion-y kind of feel to it. It doesn't sound like jazz fusion, but it could. You know, if they went like in a slightly different direction, then it could have easily been uh, the the returning chorus or part in like a jazz fusion song, perhaps from like Mahavishnu Orchestra or something like that. And it gets into like this part. This reminds me a lot of Gentle Giant. Really, all of it does. And like this playing is really cool. I love the drumming, especially behind it. Rhythm, rhythmically, I think that this is a really capturing song. And I do like what goes on on top of it, like I mentioned specifically with the keyboards and stuff. I just, I'm not feeling like I'm ready for it right now. This song is in the middle of the album, uh, track six out of nine, and I feel like I'm missing something. Now, I would love for you guys to recommend me a track with vocals because I would like to hear, uh, you know, the singer and, you know, perhaps what they sound like amongst the band. This was like a decent entry. I don't love the song, and if I'm being honest, I don't see myself really listening to this song in particular. But it does feel like it's it's the middle piece in the album, which it is. But it feels like something led into it, and then this is going to lead into something else. It's almost like if I was listening to a 20-minute epic by a band, like this section would be somewhere in like the eight-minute mark. You know, like an instrumental break, rather than like the whole song. I really like this. Yeah, and they just keep elevating it. You get some nice atmosphere in the back too. And then it returns to this motif. You know, I think that this is a really cool setup. I don't, like I said, I don't think I would listen to this particular song on its own, but perhaps in the course of the album, uh, I would imagine it finds a lot of context. It makes a lot of sense and it probably stands out in a really nice way as an instrumental break. To me, the standouts are those solos. It seems like there's about three of them in here and that's what I really like about it. And also just reading a little bit about Kit Watkins. Uh, Kit Watkins was in another band. Did you know what band that was? That was Camel. <laughs> apparently for a little while and he was uh he was there on the album I can see your house from here which is the only other album from Camel that I've listened to on my own you won't find any of the reactions here but I listen to that album on my own um everyone always tells me to listen to ice and I'm like I've listened to ice it's amazing <laughs> so that's actually really cool once again we're kind of seeing where the artist and you know the band members you know are taken from other bands or go to other bands and it's just kind of cool to see that continuity within the prog community Anyways, once again, I would love to know what you guys thought of the song, but also for you guys that recommended this song, perhaps uh, point me in the direction of a song that features some vocals, uh, preferably some good vocals. <laughs> but as always, you can join me on Twitter, you can join me in the comments down below. Hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, fantastic, absolutely just gorgeous day or night. Don't let any nymphs bite you. <laughs> or, or I guess, I guess the nymphs are the ones bitten. Knee bitten nymphs in limbo. What? Can someone, can someone translate the title for me also? I would love to know what I'm supposed to, I would love to know what it means. Uh, have a fantastic one, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.